What's going on guys? I'm Craig Mitch. Rhys James. Yes, and welcome to our post-season tour debate. Now, you know last week we had the Europa debate, got a bit heated in a nice little friendly I way. I smashed it. Apparently, but this week we have another debate and it's all about the post-season tour. Is it mm. a good thing? Is it a bad thing, no. Rhys? Terrible thing. Why? Well, first of all, they're knackered. Okay. They deserve a holiday. Mm -hmm. They finished fifth, fine it's not fourth, but we shouldn't punish them with a tour where they have to travel to Malaysia and Australia and everything ending in A. You see that as a punishment? Seeing I beautiful see that parts of the world. Imagine spending nine months of your life in London playing football Lovely where place. it's rainy, grey, polluted, then you get to go to Malaysia. Yeah, you but get I want to go to Malaysia on holiday, not with work. Yeah, I mean, they get to chill in between, enjoy it, embrace the culture, bond yeah. a bit more without the pressures they don't of securing top They top. are sick of each other. I wouldn't want to spend another hour with Kyle Walker, let alone <laughs> another month. All right, look, let's talk about the fact that uh, it's good for money. I mean, the club gets a lot of money from it, Daniel Levy's happy about it. You know, it expands Do they get a lot of money? Us. Do they get a lot of money? Of course I they mean... do. AIA is putting up a load of money to sponsor us, and this is just all part of the obligations. You got to yeah. go there and do it. But I just feel like 56 games later, you're just thinking, oh, we've made an extra yeah, two million from finishing fifth, not seventh. So we might as well just take that, mm -hmm. do a pre-season tour, give them a little bit of a break. Because half of these players, yeah. they've got to do this. They finished the season. Mm -hmm. They've got to do this season tour, the AIA Cup, which isn't even a real thing and it is one game and then some of them they've got to go do international games with the Copa America. The, the season is starting earlier this season on mm. August the 8th. Some of these players aren't even finished till June 21st. And I mean only the men is going to get a call up. We know Paulinho's absolutely rubbish. Yeah, but, you, but So I don't think he'll get called up. So what one player really? Who else is there? No, last week you were telling me you didn't want Harry Kane to yeah. play in the under 21s because yeah. he'd use up all his energy. Well yeah. this is just another contributing factor yeah, to that. But, even even more pointless yeah, game. But I care about Spurs. Happy. I care about Spurs. England? Like, who cares about England? No one's cared about England since 1961 or whenever it was when they last won the World Cup. <laughs> no one's cared since then. No one's had belief. <laughs> Don't think 61 was a, was a World Cup year. Whenever the year was, I wasn't alive. <laughs> TV was black and white and no one, I mean, footballers got paid about £2 This a issue is black and white, mate. Uh, nah. This is a black and white issue and we shouldn't be doing end of season tours. Everyone agrees with me. Yeah. Even Arsene Wenger agrees with me and that's not something that often happens. He has cut back Arsenal's uh, end of season tours massively okay. and they finish above us every year. They're doing two friendly. Wait, 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 wait. you're putting that down to the fact that they cut back the end of season tours, yeah. then finishing above us. Big time. Okay, all right, what about the fact that all of the biggest clubs in the world have a worldwide brand? They have, they have fans all over the globe, every corner. The only way you can do that is by playing in front of these fans. They don't want to watch it from a box all the time. They want to see players in the flesh. They want to be able to poke them, you know, throw jeers at them, see what they're throw actually like in person. Jeers at them, sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. They want to see what they're like in person. That's what fans do. So, you know, we need to play around the world. Yeah, we'll go to, well, let's go to America for a bit and for a day. We're doing the, we're doing the pre season tour in America anyway. Yeah, That's enough. That's enough. So, the pre season tour is enough. Of so, we thing. should just That's neglect enough. Asia, basically. Let's just not neglect. Asia. You know, I'm not, they're not important. I would, ne not I would never neglect Asia. Just want that known. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we can find different ways of doing it. We, we could do a pre-season tour, like year by year, we'll do a pre-season tour in China next year. So you think it should just be every just other pre -season, year? Just pre-season, just pre-season. We don't all need right. end-of-season tours. Gary Neville okay. is slagging them off. Yeah. Everyone agrees with Gary Neville, we all know that. Louis van Gaal has said that they're ridiculous. Players are knackered and they all need a holiday. Punch drunk all we the always, we're always having this debate in the UK about whether or not we should have a winter break and if that's affecting how <laughs> we are in the Champions League. We don't even have a summer break anymore. Oh, yeah, come on, yes we do. They go on holidays all the time. Lamelo was on holiday the other day. How many holidays does he need? Exactly. He had to go on holiday between two Premier that's League matches. That's not why. All right, okay, I've got another point for you. What about the fact that it gives us the fans something to talk about we hate having no football more football is good for me i get to watch football screw the players they get paid a lot of money okay they only train what three four days a week for two hours big deal they shouldn't be tired they're athletes i want to see football all the time it gives us so something you're to gonna, talk about you're gonna go down the pub with your mates and talk about oh, did you see the aia cup I mean, no, see, not see how we did in the aia cup you see yedlin's run in the aia cup what? all right all right we're not gonna talk in the pub People about go, it but it's something if you said to that watch. to your friend if you said did you see the aia cup your yeah. friend would throw a drink in your face and say of course i didn't mitch he does that out. anyway because i support tottenham they're just like oh you support tottenham anyway but anyway guys look we've said our points you know reese has yeah. come with his i've come with mine clearly i had the better points well mine are better but it's all about you guys Two let, now? Us, uh, let us know who you think won in the comments below this has been the end of season tour debate you know choose this has been spurred on and make sure you subscribe.
Today it's come out that the deal potentially isn't close whatsoever and other clubs are interested in him as well, including Lolverpool, who are apparently looking for a right back to replace Glenn Johnson, who's so old that he can't walk anymore. 